Yo, what's up? That's the Dark Horse. Hope you're doing well. Welcome. We're going to be jumping into Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, obviously taking on members in member duels. I am running Valence. I have no idea what I'm doing with it. I'm still practicing. I am kind of gradually learning different techniques and combos and playoffs, but hopefully we can make it work in this episode. This is my current build for it. I've increased Lava Golem to three just in case I need to get rid of. We can still special summon even despite going into this. Um... What I want to do, what the aim is to get Shinomi in hand, play it into the left pendulum zone, special summon it. Uh, this will allow me to add a valence spell, which I could probably activate this and play a valence pendulum monster from your deck in your pendulum zone. Special summon it, which I think would probably lead into uh, Baron, because then that way you can move blue an adjacent slot to trigger off blue's effect to add a valence monster. Um... Honestly, from that point, I'm not really too sure. I know we have to go beyond the Pendulum, which opens the doors to me getting Kaiden. Kaiden then sets the Pendulum scale to Pendulum Summon from the extra deck. And then also I can basically special summon more cards by Pendulum Summoning, which probably lead me into Electromite, which allow me to add a Pendulum Monster from my deck to the extra deck face up. Um... So I'm kind of familiar in certain aspects of how little things play off, but also I'm not 100% sure on how they fully combine and work together. This is why it's exciting for these member duels to occur and obviously see how well we play with it. Anyways, let's get into this duel. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. You guys are amazing, and I'll see you guys momentarily. Okay, so the duel's about to commence. I do not know what deck Kyle is running. He has a massive pool of cards to work with. I'm a little nervous, to say the least. Um, I want to go first, but if I went first, it'd be good if I ran Diner, because Diner could obviously lock out the special summons, but the only problem is it's better for me to go second just in case I pull Lava Golem. I'm hoping I can pull Lava Golem Blue. Double Ash and Cooled By. This is not what I'm looking for. Okay, not the greatest start. But the thing is, if I control a fire type, I can special summon this, so that's good. And then if this card is special summoned, you can take one monster in your opponent's main monster, take control of it, which is good because basically if I sap the monster, I can play it on my side of the field to link summon, possibly into beyond the pendulum, but I am struggling for card resources. To pull a double ash is not going to help me in any way, shape, or form. I am probably thinking we're dealing with evenly. Oh, man, this could not be more of a stink-up if I tried. Okay. I'm just wondering if this is even worth going into. So you could target one of a Valence, move that control. Uh, if this card moves, you could target one face-up monster, your opponent controls and take control of it. I probably could set the pendulum scale with beyond the pendulum. Um, which I think... Yeah, see, this would have been good if I could sap the monster from you. But I can't, so... Okay, Valence will now come into play. Activate the Valence, the special summon into this lane. I think I'm probably working with an evenly, though. Or it's super poly. The problem is, if you run Super Poly, you could probably go into Garura if you run Garura. Which is going to be a punch to my system because it ruins my whole play. Uh, which is very, very f concerning. Okay, which will special summon to this lane. Okay, there's no Garura. The problem is, if I activate that card's effect, it's going to trigger. I think we go... See, it's a toss. It's a toss between Super Poly and Infinite and Permanence. Um, I'm going to go into Beyond the Pendulum. Because as much as I'd love to target it, if I target it and it is super poly, it could come back and bite me in the backside. The only downfall is now even... Okay, that's fine. We have called by. I can make that work. Called by can go into motion. 
which will prevent your ash from activating and still grant me my pendulum scale card. Forbidden Droplet, ugh, none of the above that I thought it would be. That becomes annoying because now I have no out from it. Um, okay. Impressive. Well played. The thing is, he has minimal cards, which is a plus. There's no max C either. I could pendulum this, but the problem is I've already activated its effect. I suppose I could normal summon and then go into unicorn. Um, although... Um, okay, that locks out that. Uh, okay. Hold up, wait, don't have to set... You can play 1200, okay. If you resist this turn, unless your pendulum summon up this effect resolves, you cannot activate monster effects. The effects of any other cards are negated. I'm going to normal summon. I'm going to special summon into... Play If this card links and play spell counters, equal to the number of spells on the field and are in the graveyards. There's only one. Um, while in your opponent can control, once per turn, you can remove three spell counters from your hands, push someone spell cast from your hand or graveyard. The thing is, does that apply to their graveyard as well? Equal to number of spells on the field and in the graveyards. Okay, so we could now lead into this play. Into Celine. Celine gets three counters. I can then not activate because we used, um, brr, what's its name? We used Beyond the Pendulum. I end my turn there. Um, also on the plus side is it's a quick effect. So we can still special summon this. The only thing is, if I had Senate Switch, we could probably make this work by special summoning Dominator. Then... Oh, no way. Okay, I have no countermeasure for this other than actually... Oh, shit. Oh. I need blue. Okay, we've got this one. We can target an effect monster on the field. Plus coin. Okay, so I can negate its effect, but then... I'm, I'm struggling. I don't have much of an out here. Like, if this card is in the monster zone, monster zone is moved. See, this is where it becomes a problem for me, is I could, in theory, make something work. Because if you control... Uh, okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, oh, no. Which would have its attack to 1500. But the problem is, is I can't special summon that card. And I have to call it right. Okay, I'm going to set the pendulum scale. I'm struggling. I am struggling indeed. This would allow me to special summon my card into attack mode. I could then activate this card's effect. I've got to hope I call this right. Okay, I think we called it right. We're good. Habs, it's a turn. Wait, what? Oh, if the result is tails, it halves its attack. Oh, okay. I, I don't think I have anything. I have Mascarina. I could go Electromite, really. Um, But it's not going to... I'm struggling for a play here. Although Electromite... Okay, I can't go into Electromite. Yo! I messed up. See, if I could special summon this by control... Oh, man, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, I am a turn. Damn. I did... I spoke about this before, about adding a possible fusion play into this deck, but I don't really want to drown it with Super Poly. We ran branded. We used those kind of techniques prior in the past. Uh, the only thing that can save me now is I have to pull a Fire Valence. Because 
Yeah. This is the problem with this build, is if you get blocked out for your combo, you don't have much to go off of. Maybe... See, this is why I have considered the Verte combo. Because at least if I add some sort of fusion, I can go into Verte, target that super poly off, and go, still get a Stab and Venom out. So there is some way of outing. But the only thing I'm thinking is, will this be beneficial for me in the long term? I, if anything... Okay, that would have helped if Kyle had summoned a monster. And yeah, this isn't helping my situation. I can't go off of anything here, which is frustrating. I was just going to have to go defense mode and then my turn. It doesn't make a difference because if Kyle does attack, for example, even with another monster, I'm dead regardless. Um... This is good. This is great. This is obviously great for experimenting, obviously. The only downfall is if you do lead into Beyond the Pendulum, you will have to... Um, yeah, if I lead into Beyond the Pendulum, I would have to get the Pendulum scale off to be able to special summon through Super Poly. Although, in theory, I can still special summon the turn after. Um, grass looks greener. What is this? Gizmek and... Oh, this is a Gizmic build. Okay. Interesting. They always have interesting cards. Each time your opponent normal special summons a monster, inflict 300 damage to them. If a monster is special summoned from the main deck, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal special summoned, you could target one. Okay, special. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. I think... How, benef how needed is our extra deck? This is the thing. Because there is the risk of running Pot of Prosperity or Pot of, Pot of Jullity would be great, but it prevents special summons, so there's no point in me even running that. Um, Verte sounds like a good option, but it means I'd have to create two spaces for the extra deck of Stav and Venom. Even if I was to... But the thing is, what I run Stav and Venom, I may as well run Garura, and I'm back in the same position with running the Polymerization Fusion playoffs again. And I'm trying to steer away from it being so popular, especially in member duels. Um, but yeah, this is not good. Machina Reinforce. Damn. What is this? A uh, hybrid. Gizmek and... Does Gizmek banish the special summon? But I do need to find a way of adding cards. There is... I don't think there is anything I can really go off, you know. Beyond, obviously got negated. Celine, I kind of messed up with because I was hoping to special summon, but because Beyond the Pendulum come out, it shut me out. Beyond the Pendulum's great, but also it's very bad because it locks you out if it does get negated and you can't Pendulum summon. Um, I genuinely have no defense in regards to it. My deck hasn't worked to what I would hope it to, but maybe in the next duel... We can prove that Valence can be impressive to be able to run and use. But it is interesting to see Kyle running Gizmek. Obviously, it's not a deck I see too often. This is the great thing about dueling members is the fact that they bring something completely different from ranked and they can just enjoy without the stress of grinding the ranks. You know, we know what it's like. Obviously, if you do play competitive and ranked or in tournaments, you kind of understand how stressful it can get. But yeah. Maybe at some point I may enter a tournament. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. This is good because obviously I get to see and witness how this cooks. You know what I mean? So you've played off of that effect. You're going to target that monster, increasing its attack. What is this? What did they use? Double it. 18, 50, 36, 37. Okay, so it just gains it by 1,000 then. Okay. So what was the effect you were trying to apply here? You can banish this card from your grave and target one machine. You cannot declare attack set with that monster. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Okay. Also, it's attacking defense become the combined original attack. Oh, that's actually pretty crazy, you know. For all... Become the combined original attack of all machine monsters you currently control whose attack equals their own defense. Which is only that one, really. But although, yes... Into what we're looking at here. Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. This 
I may be able to turn this around. I may. I just need a fire type. A fire type valence. Please. Fire attribute. Come on. You give me water. We do not want water. I may have to increase my cards. This is good because I can. No, I can't. Man, this is such a. This is such a pain in my ass, man. Literally, I can't do anything. Because I don't have the field spell. And I need blue. I have run blue at three. Blue is the opening card to get the uh, ritual uh, freaking field spell off. Obviously, I could special summon here. Yes. And then get rid of that and get rid of that. And then pop that into defense mode. But I don't have nothing to go off of here. This is awful. Like, even if I played this in the Pendulum Zone, I can't get anything from it. Unless... Because the only thing that... Uh, this is why Beyond the Pendulum is so vital, is the fact that you run one card that has a nine-star... Pen well, nine Pendulum scale. You know? So without that nine Pendulum scale, I can't do anything. So maybe I look at adding alternative cards, like... Um, I can't remember, there's a spell card, I think you discard a card and you can add Stargazer and Time Gazer or something, or whichever it is. And basically, <clears throat> what it does is it sets the Pendulum scale up for you. You know, from Stargazer to Time Gazer, 1 through to 8, and it works well. Uh, prevents spell and traps from activating in the battle phase as well. Um, but unfortunately, it... <sighs> there's a lot of options I have to figure out, you know. Do I want to hybrid this build? into possible fusion as well just in case and if i need to i can pendulum scale plus use it as bait off of blue if we get ashed we're kind of shot in the dark unless we get the field spell um but yeah this is good i like practice i like to figure out whether or not i can improve this build and make it work effectively the only downfall to it though is if i did run super poly i may I don't know if it's going to work because we have fire. We have alternative plays. Ugh, and he has 50 attack. What? That's joke. I didn't even notice that. But yeah, obviously Kyle could easily win here. You know, Kyle has one hands down. There's no denying it. I, I'm just, it's, it's frustrating because obviously we're getting the, um, I don't know what the people call it, where they let you have an extra turn. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, if I could pull a card and make a comeback, it's great. But also at the same time, it's kind of like, ah. But I've managed to pull all of the pendulum, uh, all of the um, cards, but the blue card I need. Wow, that's crazy. The thing is, if you special summon, so this obviously, Zeroboros is good if you have Fairy Tail. Uh Okay, so I get one field spell, which is kind of good in a way, you know, but also it's not because I can't actually do anything, which is, it's even more frustrating, the fact I can't do anything, you know, and I, I know I can play this off and then I can tag one monster in your own spell or special summon it, and then I can play that. So what I want to do is go pendulum scale here. The only downfall to it is if I go here, there we go. It's going to clear the field now. This game, well played. Resolve. <laughs> oh no. But, it, but it's good. It's good to have that added challenge, you know, and banish all cards. Whoa, wait, what? I thought Zeroboros was fine. Okay, Zeroboros goes as well. Oh. Oh, okay. It special summons itself back. Okay, cool, cool. That's a nice setup. I mean, I'm loving the fact Kyle's giving me a chance to witness, obviously, the full capabilities of this build to see how crazy and effective it can be. What's even crazier is the fact it has 11,200 attack. I, I am coming back. I am coming back with a vengeance. Nah, I'm not. Um... We need to figure it out. We need to figure out how we can make this deck work effectively. You know, especially with someone like me, because you guys are aware, my 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 um 
My deck isn't the best. Uh, no, no, my deck. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a quick change. I'm going to run the same build. We're going to drop Lava Golem. Look, I have three. This is this is the card I need. Shinomi. Literally, I don't care about anything else. I just need Shinomi. So, there is the choice of adding possible fusions. But it would mean we'd have to drop a couple of cards. Avra's too good to give up. Selene's good to special summon a spellcaster if we can get beyond the pendulum off. Because what we could possibly do is go beyond the pendulum, add a card. But, yeah. I don't really know about Soul Sweeper or Abyss Dweller. So I'm going to drop those two. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want, nah, 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 nah. Nah. Discard changes. What I am going to do, I'm going to edit this deck quick. I'm going to drop Lava Golem. And I'm going to add... What, do I just go with an extra field spell? Oh, I can't. Because like even this spell card, it would allow me to add a Valent. So basically, the two cards that are vital for me to pull, I didn't pull up. And it's frustrating. I'm going to add two of these. Because if I add two, then I've got a chance of pulling one in the starting hand. And then one in the actual um, through beyond the pendulum. Mm -hmm. But it is, it's difficult, it's frustrating, because you kind of want to make something work of it. And in, I don't want to be locked into Super Poly yet again, or Fusion Play. You know, we've got our branded for that. We don't need to worry about it. We, we, I can make this work. I can. Or like, years ago, I say years ago, months ago, we run Sacred Beast, and we were going to Platinum. Uh, or were we going to Diamond? I can't remember. But basically, I hybrided it with Eldritch in the end, and it works like a freaking charm. You guys give me enough time with this deck and I will make it work on a consistent basis. Without the diner deck combo, I'm kind of trying to work with my own thing here. Okay, this is good, except, you know, yet again, I have to... Oh, man, why am I pulling double every time? Literally, how can I pull two Call by the Graves? It's good because I can set the pendulum scale, but also it's not good because I can't do nothing. You know, like literally all the monsters we have in this deck and I pull the two called by the graves, which are literally limited at two. I think we're dealing with subterrors here. Or it's Labyrinth. Okay, we have a field spell. This works. There is no monster on his field though, which is kind of difficult to work with. The only thing is, I can now special summon this to a main monster zone, which does open the door to possibly... There's no Ash, which is good. I can now play that into the opponent's zone. I'm going to Pendulum Scale this over here. I'm then going to activate its effect to special summon. Wait, hold up. You can choose one card in your pendulum zone and send to the graveyard all cards your opponent controls in the same column as that card. Right. Okay. We're going to go with dice roll. Please give me a six. Work with me. Give me some luck. I'll roll a one. I know I will. Solemn strike. Yikes. Okay. There's no protection against solemn strike, which makes it very difficult now. <laughs> um... Yikes. Okay. Um. Okay. I am a turn. I can't do much. This this is why whenever you seem to see Valence deck being used in ranked, it doesn't ever play off well. I've never played up against a Valence player that's actually won. You know, every time it's a kind of specific technique and combo, and if you don't pull the right cards, it's very reliant. You know, very reliant. I can't speak for some reason. But yeah. Oh, you've built a Black Luster build. Oh, I like it a lot. Okay. Interesting. This is good, but also bad. Okay, this is fine, because now I can special summon this card, as long as I don't get solemned. We should be okay. You know the worst part is I just realised I set called by the grave in my pendulum scale. You can tell I'm not used to playing pendulums. 
You know what? That could have worked as well if I didn't have called by the grave in my bloody pendulum zone like an idiot. Right. If there are two cards in the field zone, a turn player could take one monster card in their own spell trap special summon it. So what I want to do is activate this on a special summon. Then I want to target one set card face down, which is that one. Am I looking at another solemn play? And we've got a strike. There we go. Okay, that does shoot me in the foot yet again. Okay. You know what? I deserve this. I deserve it all. <laughs> I'm struggling. I am not going to deny it. Uh, Yeah, I'll have my turn. This is the problem, man. The Valence deck can be shut down so simply. It's difficult. Extremely difficult. You know? Um, it's crazy. You pull two Solemn Strikes. I pull two Call by the Graves. But you're not putting no monsters in the grave to actually open up a Pendulum Scale. Which is annoying. But yeah, it is fine. Okay. Finally. Okay, let's hope, mate. You've got third Solemn Strike, man. We're gonna, we, I'm going to punch myself in the face. No, not literally. Right. We've finally got a actual play card combo that we can make work now. So we can target. We can special summon. Activate effect, which will allow me to add a valence spell, which will give me this. Then what I want to do. This call by the grave has to go. It's doing my bloody nothing. I might have to crash. I'm going to crash. And then I'm going to have to play off Caught by the Grave. And target. I'm an idiot, mate. I literally, I could have saved myself a Caught by the Grave if I had not misplayed my own card. Really. Like, amateur hour or what. There we go. And then we can go main phase two. I can now activate this. Which will now set the pendulum scale. Uh, I'm trying to think of what we would want. Because if I'm going to Pendulum Summon into a Water, then if you control I can Special Summon this. But you can tag one. Yeah, so that means blue would come back and I can activate purple. And then that basically I can move it and then add another card. So we go into the Pendulum Scale here. Um, Just turn it. Tag one more soon. Okay, now we're fine. I'm going to set the Pendulum Scale. This will go one, two. Okay. Well, that's awkward. Then I can activate your effect. Special summon. Activate. If this is going to move, you can target one valence monster in your cat. Special summon up. The problem is I don't have fail. This is the thing where it becomes so like difficult to work with. But it's fine because now I can go into this. So then you can tag one monster card in your opponent's spell trap, return it to the hand. Which is nothing is that a quick effect though. Okay. Tag one monster card, that's fine. You can switch the locations of two monsters in the main monster zones if a card in the monster zone it's moved, yeah. But then if I do that, I could go Electromite. Or go beyond the pendulum, but the beyond the pendulum won't allow me to. So, yeah, we're fine. Either way, we can make something work of this. Except I've just messed up. I've just messed up my play again. Lol. I activate. Vanish. Target. Move. Activate effect. Destroy. Then I can go. Um, in my turn. You control no ritual monster. Banish one ritual spell from your hand. Upgrade this effect. Of that. That's crazy. Urgent ritual art. The thing is, obviously, like I've said at the beginning of the video, I'm still learning the ins and outs of this build. I'm still trying to work a way around making some of our cards work in the most effective way. It's a shame that you just pulled reinforcements to the army right now. Um, 
The only downfall is he can now play this off and target a monster card and then basically place it into my spell and trap zone, um, which is fine because what I can do is now activate this on my turn and special summon it back. But yeah. And a questionable... All I need is just put one Valence monster. That's it. That's really all I need to go for. But once we've kind of narrowed down different combos and techniques we can play off with this build, we can obviously make things work in an effective way. If that makes any sense. It's so hot today. Like, literally. I'm sweating. Okay, so you've gone face down and a face down spell or trap. That's good because now I can activate the effect and obviously move. If I just pull a Valence monster, thank you very much. Okay, this is good. Because once you get the combo off, mate, you're laughing. Because now all I need to do is basically play this into the Pendulum Zone. If there are two, you can target one monster card in there. Special summon it. Okay. Activate. Special summon. Activate effect. Because that way, if there is an infinite and permanent or some negation play. Okay, there's no interruption. We get to mill five and have a look. Oh, okay. We want that. Three, four. Okay. Yes. This will give me this card, which will allow me to open a door to a fusion when I move it. Set the pendulum scale for here. No. I'm then going to set the pendulum scale over this side. No. Activate the pendulum scale to pendulum scale blue. Because this would allow me to... I'm, if, I'm, if I can move it, that's great. That's the question. This returns back to my hand now. Then I can activate this card. To special summon itself to the field. And now I can activate this card's effect. To allow me to add a valence spell. Which will give me this card. Then we can activate our crone. So we go one. And we go two. There we go. And then activate our monster's effect as well as our fusion. Resolve. This allows me to go into. Oh. If this card is special, you can tag one monster in your opponent's spell trap, return it to the hand, and if you do inflict. See, this is the kind of play you want to go with for a finishing blow, but also. You take one effect monster in your opponent's main monster zone. Place that opponent's monster face up. Okay. Um, it's fine. I am going to go into this. And we're going to go one and two. And bring it out. Grand Duke. This will allow me to destroy. I'm going to destroy that. Ooh. Judgment. Oof. Damn. Okay, I'm going to activate this. And then I'm going to... The only thing is, is if I had a... Oh, actually, I did have an opening. It's fine, don't matter. I was hoping to uh, play off an effect, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, no, this is good. This is good, yeah. I can banish this spell card now to target my fusion monster. And move him across one. Which now opens the door to special summoning Nazuki. Then Nazuki's effect can activate. And then we will move you to here. And then special summon. Um, Nah, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to work out whether you'd have something. Because I don't really want to go into a destruction play. I could go beyond the pendulum. But it's not going to make any difference could go into Electromite, which is normally the play you want to go for. Electromite and obviously the Beyond the Pendulum of the cards you want. Um, so, Beyond the Pendulum I can do next turn. I think we go... I think we just attack. I'll take the bait if need be. 
Uh, we will go for 18. Okay. Attack for 17. Attack for 3. And then attack for 25. Okay. Not going to lie, ladies and gentlemen. I really enjoy Valence. I do. Once I can get used to them, they are very fun to play with. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Obviously, if you consider becoming a 499 uh, pound member, then you get access to the private member Discord. And also, you can just duel me whenever you're available and things like that. We can record an episode to go onto the channel in the next available day because we are uploading seven days a week, every single day. So thank you guys for watching. Take care. Thank you for supporting the channel. Peace.